James once again from the Wall Street Minute standing right in front of the New York Stock Exchange in front of the Buttonwood Tree. And I got some questions. I did a tour the other day and people were asking me, who is William Durr? Uh, if you're a financial professional or you're just a hobbyist or a history buff, William Durr is very famous when it comes to Wall Street. William Durr was accused of causing the panic of, 19, of 1792. Yes, 1792. Uh, the Panic of, of 92, as it was called, was the first banking crisis in the U.S. in which Alexander Hamilton, then Secretary of Treasury, had to bail out all the banks basically to save the country and, for that matter, keep us keeping us from perhaps going to war with France, of all things. Um, William Durr was a speculator who worked for the Treasury, who had been a signer of the Articles of Confederation and then a big promoter of the current U.S. Constitution. Uh, Durr made lots of money in and out of the stock market, basically living on the edge. Uh, he decided at one point that he would bid up and buy up all government debt he could get his hands on and employed his vast fortune to buy up bonds like crazy. Uh, like everything else, he overextended himself and got what we would now call a margin call. Perhaps the mother of all margin calls, uh, Durr would end up going broke and, and spending the rest of his life in debtor's prison. Hamilton was furious because he worked for, Durr worked for him uh, and he made and Hamilton he was supposedly a friend of Hamilton's and Hamilton was kind of had a lot of egg on his face. Um, the reason I bring this all up is behind me is something known as the Buttonwood tree, uh, which stands in front of the New York Stock Exchange, which symbolizes what we now call the Buttonwood Agreement. The Buttonwood Agreement was created after the Panic of 92. Uh, it shored up markets. It is the foundation of the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, it is the foundation of the entire global, cur the current global financial system. And it is one of the reasons crypto has had a lot of trouble because there's no Buttonwood Agreement in crypto. Uh, what does the Buttonwood Agreement do? It basically creates a club and says, if you're going to trade, you got to be in the club. If you're not in the club and you want to trade, you have to contact someone in the club to trade for you. Commissions are paid f for transactions. In other words, the broker gets paid to buy and sell, not whether you make money or lose money. And if a broker agrees to buy a stock or sell a stock at a certain price, there's no backing away from that trade. Uh, it also created this, a system where people would vouch for other people. In other words, you would open a brokerage account in New York and your broker asks you a whole bunch of questions trying to determine your financial solvency as well as your experience in the stock market. Uh, that goes around all over the world. It is important to remember, despite all the scandals and all the negatives that you often hear about Wall Street, it is the only business in the world you can make a billion dollar transaction based on a handshake or a say-so over the phone. That's really something to think about. Anyway, this is James once again from the Wall Street Minute in front of the Buttonwood Tree. Uh, leave comments, say hello, and of course, subscribe to these videos.